Chapter 1, Part 1, State and Local Government and Not-for-Profit Reporting Objectives. Our coverage, we look at the objectives of financial reporting as established by the GASB and the FASB. Let's look at the objectives of financial reporting for state and local governments. Financial reports are used primarily to compare actual results with the budget, assist in determining compliance, assist in evaluating efficiency and effectiveness, and assess financial condition and results of operations. Remember, financial statements are a report of the past. Your focus must be on the future. One main objective of financial analysis is to derive the economic substance of a transaction from the data provided in the financial statements. Then it is up to you to recast the data in a form that best facilitates the decisions that you must make. Accountability is the cornerstone of all financial reporting in government. This is from the GASB Concept Statement Number 1, Paragraph 56. So what is accountability? Accountability arises from the citizen's right to know. It imposes a duty on public officials to be accountable to citizens for raising public monies and how they are spent. Let's look at the accountability pyramid. So we start at the bottom, the operating department. Then we look at the administration. And that's getting the job done. Then we look at oversight, internal audit, the Board of Regents, the elected officials. We look at government agencies, legislative and executive branch, customers, and accountability. So you can see as we go up the pyramid, the, uh, the accountability narrows up to the taxpayers but every layer of the pyramid is a layer of accountability. Continuing with the objectives of financial reporting for state and local governments, the GASB has divided the objective of accountability into three sub-objectives. The first, interperiod equity. Financial reporting should provide information to determine whether current year revenues were sufficient to pay for current year services. This should show whether current year citizens shifted part of the cost of services they received to future year taxpayers. Budgetary Compliance Financial reporting should demonstrate whether resources were obtained and used in accordance with the entity's legally adopted budget. And the last, Fiscal Compliance Financial reporting should demonstrate compliance with other finance-related legal or contractual requirements. So how does interperiod equity relate to accountability? Interperiod equity is a government's obligation to disclose whether current year revenues were sufficient to pay for current year benefits, or did the current citizens defer payments to future taxpayers. FASB objectives for not-for-profit entities are, for the most part, seemingly similar to those of the GASB for governments. FASB standards aim at a narrow group of users, donors, and other resource contributors. So look at page 19 of the text, Table 1-4. FASB objectives refer only indirectly to budgetary compliance. FASB objectives State information should be useful in assessing how managers of a non-business organization have discharged their stewardship responsibilities.